Hi everybody, it's Ms. Chris from Herrick District Library here with Toddler Story Time today. Yay! This morning, as usual, we are going to start out with our feel good chant. And I call that I call it that because the things that we do in that chant help you to feel good about yourself and have a good day. So here are the motions for this. It starts out with I am great, so that is where you put your arms way out here. And then you have I am smart, that's where you touch your finger to your forehead like this. The next part is I am strong, so let's see some muscles for that one. <laughs> and then we have I am loved, that's where you give yourself a hug. And the last part goes like this. Today is going to be an awesome day, woohoo! And you know, woohoo and jump up in the air just like that. Are you ready? Let's do this together. Let's get our arms way out here. Here we go. I am great. I am smart. I am strong. I am loved. Today is going to be an awesome day. Woohoo! Great job today on the Feel Good Chant. Yay! Alrighty, next it's time to sing our opening song of We Clap and Sing Today. Of We Clap and Sing Hello. And today, we're going to clap and sing hello. Yay, finally we're going to clap. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Yay, give yourself a round of applause. Good singing today. Nice job. All right, for the next song or two, we need something special. So let me get mine and then I will explain. So this, the next two songs are going to be a scarf song. And here at the library, I have access to our scarves, but at home, you may not have a scarf to wave for these two songs. So another thing you might be able to wave is some Kleenex. You could use a sock. You could use something like that. You could actually use a real life scarf that you have left over from winter that might be just sitting around your house. So this might be a good stop, stopping point. Um, hit pause quick a minute while you look for your scarf and then come back and we'll keep going with story time. <laughs> All right. So this first song is called Popcorn Kernels. So there are some motions with this. Um, so you've got your scarf here. So we start with popcorn kernels in a pot. So you kind of spin your scarf like this because they're in a pot. It goes popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels in a pot. And the pot is in your hands. So you get your scarf in your in your hands and then the next part is shake them shake them shake them and then it goes till they pop and that's where you pop your scarf or whatever you've got out of your hands like that all right let's do this together let's grab, grab a corner of your scarf and we'll start making some circles here we go popcorn kernels popcorn kernels in a pot in a pot there you go it's in your hands Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them till they pop, <laughs> till they pop. Woo! I like the popcorn kernel song. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, this next one is also a scarf song. It's called We Wave Our Scarves Together. So we're waving our scarves together, just like that. Here we go, everybody. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. We wave our scarves together. Because it's fun to do. Wave them up high. Wave them down low. Wave them in the middle. Because it's fun to do. <laughs> Good job that one. Now there's a second verse. We're going to throw our scarves together. Here we go everybody. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together. We throw our scarves together because it's lots of fun. We throw them up high. Woo, way up here. Woo. We throw them down low. 
we throw them in the middle because it's fun to do. <laughs> Good job on our two scarf songs today. <laughs> the next song we're going to do is a song where a friend will sing with us too. Let me get our friend. Let's see, before we sing our song, let's figure out what kind of friend I have brought here. Let's see, our friend is covered with big brown fuzzy fur. There's a nose right there. Two eyes up here, little ears up here. Got some claws on each foot. Hmm, does anybody know? Oh, and one last clue. This guy loves honey. Hmm, that's right, I brought the bear today. And our song is going to be when bears get up in the morning. So when bears get up in the morning, they're going to roar. <laughs> you can roar along with our bear as we sing our song. Here we go. When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. When bears get up in the morning, they always say good day. Roar, 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 roar. That is what they say. They say roar, 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 roar. That is what they say. <laughs> good job, everybody, singing with our bear today. Yay, good job, everybody. All right, I'm gonna put our bear down. Woo, all right, with all that activity we just did, we need to take ourselves a calm breath break with Daniel Tiger. And the only motion that we need to do with the Daniel Tiger squeeze is a hug, just like that. Here we go, everybody. Give a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath and let it go. Let's do one more. All right, get your squeeze ready to go. Here we go. Give a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath and let it go. Good job, everybody. <laughs> All right, next up, I have our weekly early literacy tip. And once again, we are going to be using our PLA calendar. That's Public Library Association calendar. These calendars are pretty awesome because they um, have activities you can do with your toddler for every day of the year. So um, the link to this calendar will be in the program notes. Otherwise, you can also come to the library and pick up one of these too. So today's early lit tip that I have chosen off of here is one that highlights playing. So we're going to talk about making bubbles. Let's see, I've got my can of bubble soap and I'm gonna read our early lit tip a second. I've got it written out and it says, uh, make bubbles outside, talk about the bubbles. What shape are they? Which way will they go? Can you catch one? So you can, um play with bubbles that way. So let's see, I'm going to get out my bubbles. Here we go. I'm going to get out my bubbles. Let's see if we can answer some of these questions while I'm blowing the bubbles. Let's see, I'm going to get out my bubble wand. So let's see, if we're going to talk about bubbles. I'm going to blow some. And then let's see, we'll see what kind of shape they are. Here we go. Wow, so what shape are these bubbles? Here, I'm gonna catch one. Let's see, it looks like the shape of a circle. Yes, that's a circle in that bubble. And look at all the really pretty colors. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there are a lot of really nice rainbow colors coming out with my balloon, with my bubbles, <laughs> not balloons. <laughs> so let's see, whoa, they went right toward you guys at home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so one of the other questions was, let's see, which way will they go? Well, since I'm inside, there's not a lot of breeze to blow them around. So they're just kind of going, wow, look at this one. Ooh, they're just going right straight up in the air for me. But if you're outside, the wind can take your bubbles all over the place. And then another question is, how far do you think your bubbles can go? There's another question. And let's see, can you catch one? Let's see. I'm gonna blow some right at you and see if you guys can catch it. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Were you guys able to catch one at home? 
Oh, I hope so. <laughs> that is my early lit tip for this week. Let me put my bubbles down. Hi everyone, it's Miss Chris from Herrick District Library bringing you a video that is just our mouse and cheese felt game. So during story time, you know how this works? We go around and check out all the mice and we see what color they are. And then we pick a color and see if the cheese is hiding underneath one of our mice. And the rhyme goes like this. So for example, if you were picking the pink mouse, you would go pink mouse, pink mouse. Do you have the cheese? Would you, could you share it with us, please? And then you would count to three and then look under our pink mouse to see if the cheese is there. Alrighty, now that we know how to play, let's start. I think we're going to start with the orange mouse. Let's see if our cheese is under that one. Here we go. Orange mouse, orange mouse, do you have the cheese? Would you, could you share it with us, please? Here we go. One, two, three. <gasps> is there anything there? Oh. There's nothing under there. All right, there's nothing under our orange mouse. We're going to check under a different mouse next. Let's try the pink one. Let's see if something is under that one. Here we go. Pink mouse, pink mouse. Do you have the cheese? Would you, could you share it with us, please? Let's check. Here we go. We're checking our pink mouse here. One, two, three. Oh, there's something there. Is that cheese? That's not cheese. What is this? That looks like a piece of watermelon. Mmm, that's a really good snack, but not the one we're looking for. We're looking for some cheese. So we're going to put our watermelon and our pink mouse right over here. And we'll check another mouse. Let's see. What color should we try? Let's try the blue mouse. Here we go, everybody. Blue mouse, blue mouse, do you have the cheese? Would you, could you share it with us, please? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, there's something there. Oh, is that cheese? That's not cheese. What is that? That's our ice cream cone. Mmm, also a yummy snack, but not the one we're looking for. So, we're going to take our blue mouse and our ice cream, and we're going to put them aside over here. All right, let's check. Let's check one more. Let's check. Let's check the yellow mouse. Let's see if that one's there. Here we go. Yellow mouse, yellow mouse, do you have the cheese? Would you, could you share it with us, please? Here we go. One, two... Three. Oh, look, look, there's the cheese. Yay. Good job, everybody. Look, we found our cheese. Here is our cheese. Oh, good job, everybody. Well done. Yay. We have found our cheese. Alrighty, now it is time for our closing rhyme of Tickle the Clouds. When we're tickling the clouds, they're way up here by the ceiling. That's where we start. Here we go. Tickle the clouds. Now, tickle your toes way down here by the floor. Now, turn around and tickle your nose. <laughs> reach down low, down here by the floor again, and reach up high, way up here. Woo! Our story time is over, so wave goodbye. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming to story time today. We'll see you next time.